Hi, welcome here from Mobile World Congress 2019. My name is Sebastian Ang and this is MRTV. I'm here at the Microsoft booth, as you can tell, and well, I am wearing the HoloLens 2. And I'm about to do another another demo now, the, the Bentley the Bentley demo. And I've heard this one is one of the more, more interactive ones. So I would like to simply tell you now about the comfort. So I'm wearing this device now. I was told I was told to wear it like a, like a baseball hat and uh, that's what I did and I can just tell you it is incredibly it is incredibly comfortable. You will forget this. Oh, you will yes. forget this after a while for sure. So I can imagine that without a doubt you can wear this for the whole day and work without having problems. Now this time I've also made sure that I'm wearing my glasses just just to find out how well I can wear the HoloLens 2 with my glasses and well as you can tell I have absolutely no problems at all wearing my glasses under the HoloLens 2 so in work situations this should be yeah perfect so you, you, you won't have any problems wearing your glasses under the HoloLens 2 so in terms of comfort as compared to HoloLens 1 and Magic Leap 1 this takes the cake this is without a doubt the, the most comfortable headset that I've worn so far in the AR space and probably even in VR. And it seems like that now the demo is starting and yeah, I'm going to talk to you guys after the demo. And now I've just finished doing the second demo of the HoloLens that I've tried so far and this was by Bentley and it was all about construction and it was even better than the first one that I did. More impressive because this time I got to really touch and move the holograms and it was pretty amazing and I will tell you all about it now. So first of all this time I used my glasses because I wanted to check out if you can use your glasses and well let me uh, take them off because it does reflect a bit here so it was no problem at all to, to wear my glasses in the HoloLens. So for all the people who are wondering can you use your glasses while using the HoloLens absolutely no problem at all and uh, yeah it felt like no no difference than than without wearing them so they've done a fantastic job to make sure that you can wear your glasses under the HoloLens without thinking about anything and I think that is that is truly amazing especially for the workplace simply putting them on so this demo now, the Bentley demo, it was, as I mentioned before, about construction. So on a table, there was a big floating model of, of a building, of a building in, I think he, he mentioned it was in Amsterdam, actually, like a round building that was rotating. And uh, yeah, just as magical as yesterday, where this patient was sitting on that bed, and the patient was actually a virtual patient that was not really sitting there. The model, it looked just so real. And um, the exciting part is that it did not really look like a hologram, as in, uh, yeah, you can see through or something. They have managed it to, to make the holograms so that the transparency is very, very low, and that it actually seems like it's there. But well, it's rotating around, so yeah, you can tell it's it's uh, it's not real, right? But um, it's it's fascinating. So you, you had this round table and then round building rotating around it. So what was exciting about about this demo now was that actually I didn't do it alone. I was doing it uh, with another person here, and what they wanted to show that you, you are actually interacting with other people who are also wearing the HoloLens, that you are in one space, in one virtual space. So at one point there were like uh, two, um, two objects that we could uh, reach to. It was like a crane and some kind of silo. So uh, yeah, I, I took the crane that was standing there and the lady that was doing the demo with me, she took the silo and we could look at it and uh, rotate it and we, we got it by simply grabbing it as we would normally grab anything that, if it was really standing there on the table. So I grabbed my object and she grabbed hers and we were looking at it and, and uh, looking at it th uh, f um, from all sides. Something that we could easily do just by rotating our hands just as if we, just as if we had this in our hands. And then the, the Bentley um, demo instructor told us, okay, now 
it now interact with, uh, now um, exchange the objects and the, the lady that was doing the presentation together with me she yeah she she gave it to me she like um, held out her hand and I simply grabbed her silo and I gave her my crane <laughs> so a bit different than exchanging business cards now here in this in this space in this um, augmented virtual reality space she gave me this object I grabbed it as I would naturally grab something and um, yeah she she took my my crane <laughs> just like that so that was truly amazing just to see that you are in the same space you can interact together and you are yeah collaborating you are simply uh, collaborating and it was a pretty pretty nice demo then uh, there were also some buttons to press which we did and again floating floating in floating in virtual space in front of us and we simply clicked them and that was pretty amazing then we also in this demo we had some sliders so there was a time slider hovering in front of me and um, I could uh, simply change the slider I, I grabbed it and I, I put it up and down and there was a time slider and it showed the it showed the model of the building at different times so at the beginning of the construction and then later when it was finished so you could go through all of the all of the different um, yeah times all of the different uh, stages of that project and when she was using her slider I could see the result at the model and when I was using it then also she could see what I was doing that was pretty amazing then we went we, we clicked on another button again and um, then uh, we had some other model that we could simply grab out of thin air and then he said like okay resize it resize that thing and well we did by simply yeah, pinching it in 3D in midair and that worked simply as you would imagine it well you know the pinching gesture from your phones since quite a long time now but now you can do that in 3D space in, in that um, augmented reality space with the HoloLens and the interaction is amazing it's so cool that you do not need some kind of controller everything just works with your hand and they've simply done an amazing job so um, what amazed me about this the, the in intuitivity how easy it was to simply to simply grab stuff and the collaboration the collaboration was simply amazing how you could reach uh, how you could give the other uh, partners that you work together with these 3d models and then they interact with it and all their interactions I can see them too so it's it's really not like that you are working on your own thing if you want you can collaborate but of course if you want you can also have your private space and there was like one part of the demo where we did our own things and I could not tell what she was doing and she couldn't uh, see what I was doing so the Bentley demo was a very impressive one actually I have captured the whole demo in uh, 180 degrees uh, 3d footage and um, once I have uh, prepared the video I'm going to upload it here on MRTV as well so that was truly an amazing uh, an amazing demo here and uh, I can say it again Mo mobile world congress 2019 for me the clear winner is Microsoft with the HoloLens 2 even though the foldable phones are without a doubt amazing um, Galaxy Fold, Huawei Mate X absolutely but I can just tell you that the HoloLens 2 is just a paradigm shift for, for computing it's just ushering us into the next phase of what's possible and how we will interact with computers in the future so so without a doubt for me HoloLens 2 the winner of of um, the Mobile World Congress 2009, uh, 2019 and in my opinion a magic leap for spatial computing all right that's everything that I got here now for this video I really hope that you enjoyed it if yes give it a thumbs up and of course if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV yet do so now my name is Sebastian Ang and this video is brought to you by MRTV and I'm looking forward to see you in the next video.